Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A Detroit woman was attacked by a pack of dogs on the city's west side. We're told her neighbor jumped into action Friday afternoon, stopping the attack, even killing one of those dogs with a stick. According to him, dangerous dog packs have been an issue in the neighborhood before. Detroit police on the scene. Animal control has also been called in to collect that deceased dog. Health officials are investigating three possible cases of the deadly coronavirus right here in Metro Detroit. According to the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, two of the potential cases are in Washtenaw County and one is in Macomb County. But all three people recently traveled to Wuhan, China. Each of the patients exhibited mild symptoms. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Getting into the weekend on an ugly note here. This evening showers heavy at times. Some fog and drizzle all mixed in as well. The fog gets thicker tonight. More drizzle, less shower action. There's a few here and there. Uh, so a little less falling out of the sky as we go along. And then Saturday, it uh, looks like we'll have clouds, fog, drizzle, and mixed rain and snow showers. But the snow showers won't stick on Sunday. They actually have a chance to stick as we cool off just a little bit. So temperatures going to stay on the mild side here. Our overnight low is 35, then it's 38 Saturday. A little cooler on Sunday. And just that a couple of degrees makes, again, a few more snow showers possible and a few more that could stick. Most of the last week of January looks pretty mild. All right, Dave, thanks. Former Livingston County Judge Teresa Brennan is now in jail. Brennan was sentenced last week to six months in jail after pleading guilty to a perjury charge. That plea was in exchange for two lesser charges of tampering with evidence and misconduct in office being dropped. Brennan was also ordered to serve 18 months of probation and complete 200 hours of community service. Those are your 7 Action News headlines. We have these stories much more on our website, wxyz.com, and on our app. Have a great night.